Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with another try. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily create highly realistic lipstick in Photoshop. So you can see this is the image before and after. So this looks very real and it is even blending well within the lips of our subject right here. So this is the before and after. So I'm just going to delete the after so that you can do everything from the very start and you understand each and everything. So you're just going to come to the background and press Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard to create a copy and we can rename this into lipstick and by the way if at all you enjoy the video you can simply hit the like button so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so we are now done creating the new layer and it is on this side we are going to be creating that nice and highly realistic lipstick so we're just going to come and get our pen tool right here and we're going to make a rough selection around the lip area so I'm just going to come and slightly or make just a rough selection around the lips of our subject right here so make sure you make that selection around the lips so I'm basically doing a rough job right here so right click in the selection and come to make selection and simply come to new selection and simply use the radius of three pixels and simply press ok so right now you are done doing that then come under the adjustments right here hope you can see and come to solid color and you can now come and add whichever color to the lips that you want so for this case I'm just going to come right here just going to choose a rough red color this is ok and I'm just going to simply hit enter then come and change the blend mode right here from normal I'm just going to change it to color and you can see that is going to make the lips look very nice and real and that's the before and after so far so if at all this is not really working good for you or if at all you made a rough selection that you don't desire to make or you want to make any changes simply come under the brushes and make sure you select this black layer mask on the solid color layer and when you select that simply with the brush tool selected, make sure the flow is at 100% and opacity at 100%. Then come and make sure the hardness is all the way down, meaning the brush is going to be as soft as possible. So with this, you can now come, make sure you have white as a foreground color. The reason for this is because the selection we made on the lips, as you can see on this layer mask, is white in color. So if at all you're painting with white, it means you're going to be adding more lipstick color in different areas then if at all you switch to black it means you're going to be eliminating color so let me show you what i'm trying to mean so right now you have to click and make sure you have black and white on these two small boxes right here so make you can switch between black and red by using x on the keyboard and with the brush tool selected i'm just going to zoom into the lip area right there reduce on the size of our brush by using the open bracket on the keyboard and simply paint so you can see that by just using the brush tool you can just come and refine the lip area or the area that you want to perfect in the lips so remember we made a slightly rough selection as you're trying to select the lips in order to apply the lipstick so with the brush tool selected you can now come and you refine that area using a white brush then if at all, for example, you paint away from the lips, you can switch back to X on the keyboard and that is going to make the brush black and it is going to erase the effect. So if at all you did not want the effect in some areas, you can come and erase the effect from some areas or certain areas on the lips. So you can see right now this is what we have. So you can switch back to X and you fill in the areas that you may have missed out on the lips on the lips of the model so that's the before after so if i told you feel like you want to make it a little bit more natural and rea realistic you can come and double click on this color fill layer and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box so with this you can come to the underlying layer and simply take it out from the shadows slightly to make it a little bit blend and a little bit more realistic and hold down the option or alternate key on the keyboard and you can split to refine that selection so right hold on the option or alternate and simply split this to refine or to make 
the lipstick a little bit more on the natural side then you can also well retain the highlights within the lips by coming and dragging this from the highlights just like that and you can refine that by splitting these two just like that and that is going to make the lipstick a little bit more realistic and simply press enter oh okay so you can see before and after you can see that we have retained the darkest areas and the lightest areas within the lips so that's the before and after and when you feel like you want to change the color of the lips in this case you can come and simply double click on this solid color layer double click on it and you can switch the color of the lipstick to whatever color that you want to really affect or to work with your image depending on what you want so you can see you can choose whichever color of lipstick that you want and when you want to refine it by adding contrast to uh, the lips you can as well i'm just going to switch it back to red if at all you want to add more contrast you can just come right here to the adjustments and you come and create a bri brightness and contrast adjustment layer and make sure you clip it to this auto affect only the lips so just click on this clipping icon or you can as well use the alternate key on the keyboard and click between both layers and it's going to create this clipping mask so just hold down the alternate on the keyboard or option and click in the middle of both layers so whichever adjustments that you make on the lip area it is going to add contrast within the lip area you can see that this is going to make the image a little bit meta and a little bit more realistic so this is the overall before after before after so for those that were asking how how i was able to add or create that nice and realistic lipstick within photoshop this is how i did it and if i told you i found the video helpful make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this to many people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating